Servus guys and welcome to the next tutorial on the Buildcraft robots. Uh, today we are going to have a look how to set up your own farm system which will be fully automated and uh, this will be the final result that you are able to see um, after well I showed you the setup. It's um, yeah, it's not that difficult to build this up. You have to keep uh, some things in mind, but I will show you everything. So in the previous tutorials, we had uh, everything about crafting the robots, setting them up and uh, yeah, have some knights and butchers who kill animals, uh, which kill animals and uh, the shovel man, which was also a quite funny robot. And yeah, and this is the setup we always are using. Um, it's very similar. We need some docking stations as well. And uh, for a fully automated farm, and of course it depends how big your farm should be, you need uh, a bit more robots to have it, well, let's say efficient. So um, yeah, now we need, um, what we're doing next this is the basic setup as you already know and uh, at our uh, emerald ore gates we do the same stuff uh, with redstone on redstone off and redstone on is work in area and we will define an area in a sec and uh, redstone off is go to station so this is the basic setup here we go so the next thing will be to define the zone so we need our zone planner and it's always good to have um, such a big monument or something that is uh, really yeah uh, you can define or you, you, you see where your zone is or where you are which is not that easy with the zone planner I, I find working with the zone planner is very difficult so anyway here uh, in this case it's easy so uh, we know okay we can build up our field here so uh, it's a bit much so this will be our new field and um, keep one thing in mind um, the robots are working always that way that one robot is killing something or harvesting something and um, it's always dropping the loot so the wheat or the seeds from the field will be dropped um, wherever the harvester uh, robot uh, goes uh, or, or finds uh, grown wheat. And the problem is when um, if the wheat is gets killed uh, at the border of the zone it might land outside of the zone and then the picker won't pick up um, the wheat. So like, uh, like you see now the, the picker won't pick up this uh, wheat I dropped there so for the picker you have to have a known zone which is which is slightly bigger than your old one or your farmland one so you are safe for well let's say border drops zone border drops <laughs> okay now we are set up um, with two maps and one picker is far enough so Let's go for farmland, oops, right click on the gate, shift right click to paste and the last one should be the picker, maybe, yeah, so we switch the map location to farmland picker, here we are, good, so far so good. So what am I doing next? Yeah. There is the picker, which can be already ac be activated because and it will pick everything up. So okay, um, now we start with the farming. Um, first of all, we need the robot that um, hoes up our grassland into farmland, and uh, the bot is called the farmer. The farm. So the farmer needs, of course, a hoe. So we need um, to give it yeah, a possible supply of hoes. And it works like we had, um, yeah, the same way like the shovel man, for example. Uh, we need somewhere a chest and the chest has to be within the zone. Yeah, that's very important. Otherwise, um, the farmer isn't able to get 
the hose in the chest. So wooden transport pipe for getting things out, docking station and emerald ore gate. And we say um, if there are items in the inventory then provide the items. There we go. That's everything we need. Now we need some hose in it. <coughs> I'm sorry. So some hose in there and uh, yeah, that's fine. So let's start the farmers. And the first farmer will go off and uh, yeah, get get its hoe. And after it's uh, the farmer has uh, yeah done his job and got his hoe, um, the other farmer will start and get also a hoe. So the farmer already is already starting within its working area to yeah turn grass into farmland. So we need some water. You might be able to do this without water um, because the farmer robot will always keep on yeah, uh, hoeing uh, or changing grass into farmland um, all the time. So if something dries out mm, and the farmer will return to the place some, some minutes later and um, yeah, will rechange it into farmland. And yeah, the next robot is the planter, which yeah is planting seeds. Oh. So here we go. And now we do have to get, or we do have to build up a setup for the seeds and we will, or we want to have a fully automatic version so that, that uh, the harvested seeds will be returned into the chest for the planter so um, that this is this should be fully automatic so harvester is now going and um, picking its stuff up some seeds there and here we go and it's planting uh, the seeds very randomly so and one seeds at a time one seed at a time so the planter is really slow. So you might want to have at least two planters for such a big um, place, such a big farmland. So second one and here we go. Doesn't want to move um, because at this point um, the other planter is um, docking and that's the problem. So I would recommend to have at least a second docking station because uh, otherwise uh, it takes ages. With the second dock docking station you do not have a problem. There we are. And let's go. So now the planter is going for some seeds. And the last one is the harvester. And the harvester is, well, basically harvesting anything that's grown up. And yeah, we just need a slight change of the setting because now we have to get uh, some place for the, uh, for the wheat. So we get its uh, second chest. Here we are. And we need a cobblestone pipe for putting things in. Emerald gate, docking station. Here we are. And we say, okay, if there are items in inventory or it's empty, if it's full, then everything is closed. Otherwise, we accept items. But we only accept items, uh, only wheat. Otherwise, um, Maybe possible that uh, well seeds also get uh, thrown in there. So here uh, and on the left side, I told the gate. Well, if it's empty, then put things in there, and if there are things already in the chest, put it put also things in there. But if it's full, the thing is closed. 
Yeah, and on this side we do the same now for seeds. So that the um, picker is going for, well, picks up the wheat and the seeds and uh, the seeds uh, have to be here on the left side and the wheat on the right side. And same thing again, if there is, uh, if there's inventory, then accept items and only seeds now. If it's empty, also we are here, we are accepting seats here. And if it's full, then the line is closed. Here we go. So this is, uh, should be, as far as I remember, the full setting. Now we do some testing. Okay. And as you can see, it, it takes really some time for the for the planter to fill up such a big space. So, yeah, you might want to have a bit more planters at the beginning. So, let's go. The harvester is now going for grown-up wheat. And as you will see, it drops the seed and some wheat. And the seed and the wheat is waiting for the picker to pick it up. And keep in mind that um, the robots have some idle time. I mentioned it in the tutorials before. Um, to reduce server lag and uh, so on, they have some idle time uh, if they well, imagine like they scan around if they have something to do. If there's nothing to do, they have an idle time from, I think, one minute maybe. And then they scan again. So now the picker is loading up seeds and wheat. And hopefully he will put the seeds on the left side and the wheat on the right side. Dum, 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 dum. dum. And here should be the wheat. There we go. And on the left side, the seeds. Perfect. So this is the perfect setup for a fully automatic robot farm. As you can see, some seeds are moving in there. And uh, yeah, you have to, well, fill up the seeds at the beginning. But after this, this farm will be fully automatic. And yeah, well, um, also, if uh, somebody destroys your, your farm or whatever, your uh, farmer boys there will here start repairing it right away. So um, that's the way or the possibility to have a farm without water. Yeah, because after something is planted there, um, you don't need water anymore. So, uh, well, yeah, it's working very fluently, very good, very efficient. Um, yeah, okay, maybe a bit slow at the beginning, but uh, after everything is fully grown, then uh, you just need to you, you, you just need to have uh, four robots, one harvester, one planter, one picker, and maybe one one farmer to maintain all this. So uh, I think it's a, it's a cool thing to have um, such a farm. And yeah, I hope this tutorial was a bit helpful for you. And uh, check out the other tutorials on uh, Buildcraft Robots. And yeah, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Have a good week. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Servus, guys.